done a number on them Jen do you think we're gonna scare people to death because we're on a different set today well, we're dangerous what we can do in five minutes we are dangerous what we can do in five minutes I bought see this look top. how different you look yes I bought this top to honor my beautiful daughter whose eyes were almost this color and so today when I came in a couple of years ago I bought these beautiful teal chairs and then I bought a pillow to go in the rocking chair behind us it mm -hmm. was teal too so I had teal on my brain, and I said the only way to switch up the set and teal it up today if you would be to do it very fast. So in about four minutes flat, less than four minutes, we got we stole a table that used to be my table. This was my table. I love this set. This was the set that I was the most comfortable at. So we are back today. We stole a table. We'll put it back when we get finished with it. If, but, if you'd have just sent me a text that this was in your mind. <laughs> I'm teasing her because I've got on a black top and blue pants oh, honey, and black shoes. It, it gets better than this. I have brought Jen a beautiful, beautiful Bob Mackie teal top to wear. Promises, it's promises. Car, it's been in my car for two weeks. Well, it accidentally got unloaded. And my fault because I wasn't paying attention. So I get here this morning and I said, we're going to do teal today. <laughs> and I go to the car to get her top and I don't have it. So I'm sorry, but I'll get it for Well, you. I thought about you as I drove through ball ground last evening. I started to call you and I thought, no, it's right at supper time and I don't want her to think I'm calling about leftovers even though I did yes, watch the show. Yes, leftovers. Today Left I might say I had a piece of leftover tenderloin. So there's something well, that about been fine. the cold, I, miserable weather. Did you cook a lot during this time? No, I was in the house by myself. It's me. I cook. Let me tell you about me. Oh, I your found, hands are cold. I know, my hands are always cold. I found a picture of you and James on your wedding day. <gasps> And it made me so happy for you. It was the most beautiful picture I've ever seen. It's a happy day. He was looking straight in your eyes and it was so beautiful. And you looked amazing. And I just, I kept looking at that and I said, not everybody finds that kind of love ever she's, in their life. She's, she's gonna get to me y'all. Not everybody finds that kind of love, but you no, did, it was, and I didn't even remember having these pictures. I don't remember you but having them either. But in all the things that I've gone through over the past couple of weeks, I found some amazing treasures. You have to share. You have oh, to I will. You have to share. Well, I put it on Facebook last night because when I saw it, I just saw the love in his eyes, and I thought, is that not the coolest thing ever? He was a wonderful, 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 wonderful person. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. So today we See, are David White, David White hatched that whole idea. That whole idea well, was David White. Well, today we are celebrating life, and we are celebrating the life in many of ways. those who are gone on before us. And we have a, an empty rocking chair sitting behind us. Where She's watching down. Somebody is watching us. Somebody is taking care of us. Somebody that we love is close by. Um, you know, I don't care who you've lost. And today we're going to share some music. We're going to share some memories. We're going to share um, some fun times, some sad times. But we have so many people that we loved who are gone. You know, when you look at when when James left, it was so quick. You had four weeks. Bam. To literally say goodbye to the love of your life. And in four weeks, you can't do it all. You, you, can't, can't, you can't. There's you no can't way. You can't get it together. You can't. And and when we have that instant death, that you don't have the time to say goodbye, you don't know there's going to be a goodbye. And I said that this morning on Facebook. I don't care what you're facing today. Understand that today, this moment could be your last moment. You need to look at every moment like it is your last, because God doesn't give us the promise of the next breath. No. And don't. Don't wake up and say, I wish I'd done so-and-so, or I wish I'd said so-and-so, or say it, do it, 
It's cook it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. eat it. Eat it. Enjoy it. Don't get mad at it. I made a chocolate cinnamon cake, and let me tell you. And I you, told you about that. I don't give it anything to have a piece cake, of that. You do the icing and you pour it over hot, and it is not on any diet anywhere. But I had and that big some glass of, that of cold milk. Cake oh, and, it was so good. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. I remembered my friend Doreen Lee that taught me to make that cake. And See, I, I was lucky enough to get to meet her. Such a precious. She angel. was a sweetheart. See, she's she really one that was. could be sitting in this rocking chair today, watching over us. Doreen could be there. Just so we many have people. So many people who have left us, and and you know what? Freddie found out this week that my daddy, who is buried in Orlando, Florida is buried near Evelyn Blackstone in the really? same cemetery. See, it is a small world. Isn't this the weirdest thing? She lived where I grew up, and we didn't know it. We lived two miles apart. We both all loved Gabriel's. Oh, my gosh. So it was so weird. Well, did you get did you get in touch with the family? You said on one of the shows, I I, maybe yet. we were talking or something yet. that you were going to call them. But when them. he found out where she's buried, I said, I really want to talk to Patty and say how much we loved your mama and how much we Excuse really me, you kind of got you kind of got to me. How much we really loved her vegetable salad. Oh, I told, but I tell you, every time I'm on here, I've got her original, the way she cut it out of them out of um, Woman's Day magazine. I've got it on the front of my refrigerator, awesome. and it's not going anywhere. Awesome. I tell it's everybody awesome. that asks about it, that's a special recipe. Leave it alone. It's the person Leave that gave alone. it to me more than anything. Well, today is going to be a day of remembering and loving and treasuring those moments because there are moments. And and when I bought this, top, that's gorgeous. I, said, I love I'm that color on you. Today, I planned it ahead of time. I knew I was going to wear this teal color today. I knew I had these chairs in my heart, and, and I bought these chairs a couple of years ago. And, and I, I actually bought a love seat to use here on the set, too, and I bought the fabric to upholster it, and I was going to use you were it talking on the about, set. I remember when you wanted to paint this, and you were mm -hmm. talking about well, doing it Well, and, and when um, Heather painted it, she said, well, I don't know if those colors are going to work or not. Well, we decide today we're going to let them work. We're going to brighten oh, I think it up they a do. little bit. I think and, they do. And, and I love just, having the old table we're back. Gonna have, we're going to have a change of heart today. So We've had gonna, fun around this table. James and, and David White have been around, this, around table. this table. So I needed the comfort of this <laughs> table today. Um, we have a lot of birthdays today and tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and get in the tomorrow birthdays. And then we're going to share some music with you. We're going to share some memories with you. I found um, a program that we did up in Fannin County with Shirley Singleton and Hans Ruford and the Peanut Butter Cookies talking about the fact that Shirley used to make a cookie almost like that for Brady. I'm now a member of the club of moms who've lost their children. I don't like it, but you know how many friends I have? It's an awful you club. You know how blessed you are that you've never lost a child? Oh, because unbelievably. But, but, but so I've had it happen friends. in the family, not just yeah. James. I met James two weeks after he lost his youngest son. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, and it, he it never is, he he never got over that. You don't never, get over it. You don't get over. You don't it. get over losing anybody mm -hmm. like that. Well, but today, a child, I just can't imagine losing a child. Sixteen years ago today, one of my dear friends lost her son, and she told me last night. She said, "I will tell you, it gets better, but it never goes away." And I said, "I'm feeling that. I'm understanding that, and I and I do feel that." But but we're going to celebrate life today, and we're going to celebrate birthdays, and we have a lot of birthdays, so we're going to take care of that. Happy, happy birthday to Eddie Cochran, to Shannon Toner, to Caleb Smith, to Brad Dean, to Mark Mitten, to Donna Hay Hayhome, to Travis Lockie, to, oh, oh, we got something on my face, to Marvin Von Allman that I will be seeing tonight, to Linda Foster, and tomorrow birthdays to Miss Karen Jordan, to Denisha Bruce, to Jason Bias, to Shane Grizzle, Carrie Ann House. Rhonda Monroe, Anita Lemon, Vicki Davis, Brenda Howell, and another birthday tomorrow on Friday the 13th. Let yeah, me guess who? Sherry Martin's birthday, everybody. I will be officially older than dirt tomorrow. No, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm a couple of years older than you are, so do and not you're talk. Older than Matt. Do not talk. Well, I'm older than God. I'm God's grandmother. What are you talking about? So don't talk about older than you know, dirt. I don't Watch feel out. old. I don't feel old. I don't feel My any. Birthdays keep coming, but. When I but was aren't taking we to have those birthdays? when I was taking the dogs out to go to the bathroom in the middle of the snow and they would not go because the snow <laughs> the snow was cold where you don't and want it to thinking, be cold. I'm, I'm thinking I'm too old to be doing this. I, I did think that. <laughs> but no, it's I don't feel a lot older than I felt fifty years ago when I mm -hmm. think back to what mm -hmm. I was doing, unless I've done it for three hours or more and then right. I then I really right. start to feel it. Right. But I think that's just God's way of letting us enjoy life. He, 
The time is flying so fast. And that's why I said, don't put off doing something to next week. Don't mm -hmm. put off making yeah. that chicken dish that he or she likes so well that you just don't, you don't think you have time to right. do. Right. Or if, you know, if you don't, if, if he wants his jeans ironed and you don't like to iron, go in there and iron them because really, all of a sudden one day I, I they're wanna, not going to be there. Yeah, I, I want to tell you about that very thing. My, my friend Vicki took me out yesterday and we just had a girl's day looking at real estate and doing things. Her husband's birthday will be January 21st. She's having a really, really tough time. Their anniversary was Christmas Eve. She's having a really, really tough time. He was supposed to be here forever because he was her Prince Charming. He was her forever love. He was her Tell me about in shining it. armor. And she is alone now. And she is having the hardest, hardest time because as we celebrate all the things we celebrate, he's not here. And you know what that's like. And you know when you look around and you want to make that cake that he loved and you would say, you don't need to eat that because your sugar will go too high. If you want to make it, eat it. Eat it and it, it, do, it, 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 do, it. It. do it. Do it. I don't care. Do, do it. Enjoy do it. it. And Sit I, down. I, I got to say, yesterday, thank you to the girls from Cupcake Wars because... <laughs> I love those two. I needed those two yesterday. They, they were characters so on the energy. show yesterday. Yeah, They're they so were really full of energy, energy yesterday. Yes, yes, I think they were sugared up. <laughs> I think they were they were sugared but up. But I love them, and I'm so appreciative to them coming. I go to church with Susan. I used to go to church well, with Susan. let me tell you about the apple that she sent home. I felt so guilty eating any of it because it was so good. And I, I couldn't tell from the Freddy. show. Didn't you have a chocolate and a caramel? It was caramel and chocolate combined. I kept the white chocolate with the caramel, and I gave away the other one to a store down in Ball Ground that would be perfect to be selling those products. Because, you know, they have a little satellite place up in McKaysville that's mm -hmm. there at the Outfitters. And well, that um, stuff is yummy. I'm telling you, it's yummy. And I love I her love caramel and, and pecan apple. Well, I, I was very impressed, and I love that they I like brought their cheesecake. me. They brought me out of a place that I'd, I'd been pretty down for a few days. Um, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back. I'm going to share some health news with you. I did get my test results back, and I'm going to be facing some surgery, but it's going to be fun. And um, y'all are going to pray me through this, and we're going to get through it. We, we are, are. going to get through it, and I'm going to come out gooder than ever. So we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to go to some wonderful music. And a little bit of an interview done from a few years ago. And over Christmas, um, the Bells of Ball Ground buried one of our dear, dear friends, Kathy Mock. And when I walked into the funeral home and I saw who was going to be singing and playing at her funeral, I thought, I wonder what song he'll choose. You'll be so surprised when you see the song that he chose. It's one of my very, very favorite. He wrote it about 25 years ago and had never recorded it until Freddie had me request it one night at a concert. He has now recorded it, and if you listen to WLJA, you hear it all the time because it's one of his very, very best. And it sat on a shelf somewhere for many, many years, but he wrote it about a very special lady in his life, his, his grandmother-in-law, mm. and, and what a treasure she was and how she used to say, you know, never again will I have to suffer, never again will I have to hurt, never again will I be in pain, never again will I have worries. And that's what the song is about. We're gonna share that with you when we come back shortly. We're gonna get to here too on today's program. Now, talk about the last song he's gonna do because you lost your brother to cancer. I did three years ago. Uh and the song that was requested to be one of the songs to be requested at my brother's funeral was go rest high mm -hmm. and it was not uh derek was not there to do it but uh it was uh, you know i don't even remember i can't even tell you who did it uh but it was done and it is a beautiful song and mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's been sung at a lot of funerals. I think Derek told us yesterday on the morning show he had done it 700 times. Wow, that's 700 amazing. 700 times. Wow. And, and it is a song that touches everybody. It is. So today you're not only going to get to hear Derek singing his own song that had never been recorded yesterday. We're kind of breaking ground, something a little bit different. Um, we're going to take something that he never put on a project. I don't know why. Now, you know the story about why he wrote this song. Can you share that with us? His uh, wife, Carla, her grandmother was in the nursing home, and Derek said that he'd go by every day, every afternoon, to sit and visit with her. And he said that she said that uh, she, her being invalid in bad shape 
uh, she kept saying, one of these days, I'll never have to do this again. I, mm -hmm. I won't, never again will I have to go through what she was going through. Mm -hmm. And from that, Derek wrote the song, Never Again, mm -hmm. and that is, it's very touching. And, and I know the song means a lot to Derek, but um, I think Derek just kind of put it on the back burner because he didn't think that, you know, anybody would really care to hear the song, but I believe different. Oh, yeah. Well, the night you requested it, he did, and he said, I don't know if I know all the verses, but you're going to get to hear Derek sitting here singing a song he wrote 20 years ago. Now, 20 years ago, it meant a lot to him emotionally. And when he lost the grandma, um, he told us about how hard it was to attend her funeral. But when you listen to this song, you will understand it's important for us to share it with you today because it touched me so much. Now, it touched you for 20 years, and I didn't even know it existed. Sit back right now, and you're going to get to hear, you know, he's a singer by love. He's a banker by profession, but he's such an awesome, awesome young man. Sure and I hope is. in the near future you'll get to meet his daughter, Bailey, because she is also next generation coming up singing and playing with her dad. Right now, we're going to go to one of my favorite people in the world. Derek is going to sing Never Again for you. Sit back and enjoy this.
hope y'all enjoyed that just as much as I did. Freddie, thank you for recommending that song. It was awesome. Yes, it is. Very. It's a meaningful song, and I know especially to Derek. Right, right. Well, I hope people will enjoy that. And Glory Bound, the group that he's on with now, is going to be doing a live DVD shot at Canton First Baptist Church. Um, they are local group, Canton, Georgia. You know, check them out every time you can. Go to their website and learn a little bit more about them. And learn, um, you know, those, those songs that are written by True Story, sometimes those are the ones that really mean the most. Yeah. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from the University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway! Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> call Alpha! For the best agents in the business, call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Pereira. I'm a cardiologist practicing at Piedmont Mountain Side at Jasper, Georgia. I'd like to invite you to join me as I talk to some very interesting people about health. Sometimes physicians, sometimes nurses, sometimes both. And the name of the program is called Doctor Talk. It airs twice a week at ETC TV. this. I love having teal today. I really needed this teal today. I have something that um, I actually forgot. I didn't even bring it in and I meant to and maybe there's a reason that I didn't. I left it at home. But it was a video of uh, a lot of pictures of Angela and, and the thing that kept hitting me was her eyes. Mm -hmm. And I said, how do you have those beautiful color eyes? And then Tori has those beautiful eyes. Tori so has you them. just love those beautiful eyes. And Somebody was talking about how her smile, she always had that amazing smile. And you know, not everybody who's smiling on the outside is smiling on the inside. So I want to share something with y'all today. If you know somebody who might be battling depression, 
please reach out to talk them. Talk to them. Please talk to talk them. to them. Please encourage them. I got the sweetest letter from a lady from Florida. She was up at Town & Country when we did the show up there, and we met her. She's one of Cindy Daltrey's friends, and she wrote me the sweetest letter about grief. And I thought, you know, you get to a grief period often because somebody was depressed. There are many people who did not make it through the holidays because they are battling depression. It's a horrible time. It is a horrible time. So horrible. if you know somebody who is fighting that depression, if you know somebody who's having a hard time getting out of bed, and I know somebody who has a hard time, she has to make herself get out of bed. I, well, you saw Naomi Judd this during the holiday do, season. I have to do what I do on television because I have developed the personality that I don't like if I'm not out and about. I get a little bit down. So I like being out I heard about. that in your voice when we were talking during the snow and the, the yeah, ice. I, mm -mm, it's not good. And, and some people have that personality. It's very important to be out and about. It's very important to be with people you love. It's very important to meet strangers and to meet new people. It's very important to stay active. And if you know somebody who is sitting at home, closing the doors, not opening their blinds, and being depressed, reach out to them. Reach out to them and touch them. And I can you tell you, to. somebody reached out and touched me this morning. Because Happy my friend birthday. Ed Singleton and Ed and Sandy and Corbin, thank you so very, very much for my beautiful flowers for my birthday. I, um, I can tell you there are days that Ed Singleton got me through the moment, the hour, the day, the week, because he is always so encouraging to me. He reaches out and he knows when I'm hurting. And I think that's so very important that we connect with people and we know what they need. And he knew. I needed these flowers today, so thank you so very much. And they're don't beautiful. they look wonderful on this set? They look great on this set. I think they're amazing. Now, so. you're teasing me. You're, you were not going to say that I ran into the phone booth <laughs> during during commercial. We found the sack. Did y'all notice that Jen has on the top I brought her? I wanted her to also be in teal today. And so this is my gift to her, a beautiful Bob Mackie top that looks perfect on you. You have that color for it. Oh, I love this and color. it just looks just great. Love it. it looks great. You were talking about town and country. Country. There's a lot of, of, I have a lot of memories around that particular show at Town & Country. Sure. And one of them it doesn't center on James Berger, even though it centers on Charlene and Angela and Jen getting yes. into trouble. Yes. Three of us. Yes. You were doing something with the diplomats or with Matt or something, and it was a really serious moment on the yes. show. And the three yeah. of us are standing back in the back, and we're giggling, and we're talking. And I leaned against a washing machine, and the washing machine came on. <laughs> And Charlene was going to turn it off, and Charlene is trying to turn off the washer, turned on the dryer. And so we've got this, and I will never forget Angela getting so tickled, she kept saying, I can't move, I'm going to, I can't move, I'm, I can't move, I can't, I'm on, you know. And, but that was one of the funniest times, and when I think of, of Angela, that moment at Town & Country pops in my head. Sure. And the more we laugh, the harder, day. the worse we we couldn't, I now have that washer and dryer, not that exact one, but yeah, a different yeah. color. But I mean the exact one, but then neither, it was brand new and none of us could That's turn funny. it off. We couldn't <laughs> stop it and finally unplugged the thing. Michelle, oh Michelle reached over because she came over to tell us we were being way too noisy <laughs> and only the way she can do. And she yeah. wound up pulling the plugs on the machines and, and then again, Charlene and Angela and I were just rolling on the floor because oh we all three had on that same we teal shirt shirts. had on blue yes, shirt with yes. etc embroidered yes. in North white Georgia now today. and we all three had that but we all giggled to the point where we literally thought we were just going to yeah, yeah. wet ourselves it was yeah, so and funny sometimes we need a good laugh tears tears sometimes were running we, we just need to laugh uncontrollably and i've done a little bit of that lately you know that's one thing about being involved with women who have been there done that when we tell each other our stories we're like seriously you put up with that seriously you did that so it's great See, to share your stories that was 2009 and i think about that I think about that so very often, and I think we might have even gotten that look that you give us, that you would give evil us, eye. evil eye, like yeah. you're being a little noisy yeah. over there, and yeah. Charlene says, yeah. well, I guess she's going to come over here and slap us all, yeah. but yeah. It, was, it was just, yeah. it was one of those moments that will forever be in my heart, because it was, I can just see the look on 
Her eyes were dancing, but yes, yes. tears were just yeah. running yeah. and laughing. Yeah. We had the best time. And those are the those are the moments we have to remember, you know. And, we and celebrate life, not. We do. We do. We're celebrating her life and celebrating tomorrow. I get old. <laughs> Will you? <laughs> I'm going to have to stab you with well, a pen here. What we're going to do now, we're going to celebrate for you. We're going to share one of your favorite songs. This is Go Rest Time. Oh, I love that. And this is a song that Derek does. He, he said he's done it at about 700 funerals, and that was years ago. He told me he had done it at about 700 funerals. And I thought about that. You know, I can remember Selena did this at Mama's funeral. And it is that ultimate song. And is it true? Did Vince Gill do that at his brother's funeral? I, I think, think that's right. I think someone did. I, I think so. But if you remember correctly, the Barkers did it at James's funeral. Uh huh. When they oh, were that's singing, right. the, the right. Bar was one of the songs. That's right. So we and did. it wasn't one of their songs, but they mm -hmm. knew it well enough to. Right. Well, it's one of those songs that really, really touches your heart, and you know that. Um, you know, there is a higher, better place, and if you've lost a loved one and they've gone somewhere, I was, I was looking at Colby Ledford and something he had written about his sister, and um, when he wrote the song for his sister, and I named it, um, when it her anthem, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Adrian's anthem. Adrian's and, anthem. And, and, and the day I, he was on the show one day he and he was sang on there it. And he said, I don't know what I'm going to name it, and I said, it is an anthem to your sister because there are so many songs that we, re we relate to a certain person. Well, Go Rest High on That Mountain relates to everybody who ever lost anybody. Oh, completely. You know, if you've lost somebody, if you loved somebody, if they were taken Ellen from Blackstone you, liked that song. In fact, I don't Evelyn know many people that. who would go to the singings with us who just, when once with Angel Spirit would start that, the room just was just... Mm -hmm. Hush. Just that was the song. Yeah, that was the song, and it was one often that a Regina lot of people likes it. don't like to be asked to sing it because they maybe it's a hard song to sing. I don't know, but but they said Serena you know, sure made it sound easy. It's didn't emotional she? too. Oh, it, and, and it, maybe that's why singers don't like it because they've lost somebody they loved, and that song relates to everybody. Well, we've all so. lost somebody, and 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 when you start, we can't put ourselves in a box anymore. Mm -mm. We've got to get out there, and you've got to put one yep. foot. But now you know how long it took me to talk like this. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It, it just well, didn't happen remember overnight. Well, last year I brought Angela's little tiny tennis shoes, and I had them sitting on the counter today with a DVD of pictures of Angela. And it was a lot of really beautiful, beautiful pictures, and I was going to bring them. And for some weird reason, I walked out and left them laying at home. Maybe I couldn't have gotten through it today. So they're at home, and we'll do that another day. But when I look back, I think maybe another picture, day, another day might be the yeah, better time to show that. Every single picture was smiling and laughter and happiness. But that's how most of us think about her. We don't think about her there towards the end. In the depression, when she wasn't, I'll never get over uh, Rich Scott saying, "He said, I, he said, I got, he said, I panicked when I started reading her Facebook. Yes, yes. That yeah, night, he yeah. said, I panicked." And that was just so unlike her to yeah. be in that kind of frame of mind. And, and that's something that we all need to watch. If you know somebody who's gone through a hard time, if you know somebody who's facing um, tough times, whether it be a job loss or a spouse loss or um, the loss of their home, you know, often it throws you into a depression. So pay attention to those warning signs. Well, just think about the times that she literally came in here and slid in this chair as the opening man, was playing. Oh, man, and, and drove her mama crazy. And you'd look at her and go, well, <laughs> I'm certainly glad you decided to, to join us today. I remember one day you looked at her and said, because yeah. I was on the show, and you looked over and you said, well, thank you for deciding to come join us this morning. And she yeah. says, well, you know me. She had her big Coke yeah, in her hand, yeah, and she yeah. had her big tea, I mean. Yeah. And uh, I used to get tickled at her carrying that jug of tea around. Oh, yeah. She loved Milo's tea. That was her Boy, big didn't thing. She she I remember when, when Regina's mother passed away. Mm -hmm. I helped down at the florist that day, writing cards and doing all of this stuff. And, man, she was just putting out the... The, the floral faster than that, that's you could. one thing I'm so proud she of had the such a ta such a talent yeah. I mean she would take a flower and before you could say boo she had made the most beautiful creation out of it the blanket that she made for hazel yeah. was yeah. just spectacular and, and I will say I have been a partner in crime with my child because she would say mama I really need some blooming pink dogwoods I've stopped in people's yards and clipped pink dogwoods to take back to the florist. <laughs> so, because Angela would say, Mama, it won't be complete until I have it just pink needs dogwoods. She, because so. when she taught me to tie bows in the store in McKaysville, she finally sat down on the floor and she said, you're dumber than dirt. This is where you've got to put your hand. 
And I looked at her and I said, now wait a minute, I'm not calling you dirt. Yeah, I'm not calling you dumber than dirt. And she says, no, but you are right now. And she said, what makes me mad is you aren't. So sit down here. We're going to tie a bow. Yeah, and yeah. as you know, now I can now tie an she Angela bow. She taught me to tie a bow. I she can't do taught it. me that and day. I can't do it. That day. Well, we're going to share a song with you right now. And this is this is Derek doing Go Rest High on That Mountain. He has been asked to do this hundreds and hundreds of times at funerals. I promise it not to sing. It is a time of celebration. It is a time of celebration. So I want you to all sit back and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful song. The colors do look good. The, the graphics that. on that and it said theme song by the Barkers. How special was it when the Barkers were at the theme song to Heart of the Home? Oh. Oh my gosh. There's so many there are so many times. Again, I'm channel surfing the other day and I find a song I'm here I am because I come to I come to three fourteen nine and on 14, Jonathan Barker, honest to goodness, was shorter than the than the, the banjo, banjo was long. And he literally and he broke a string. Oh wow. And bless his heart, but he real and I I watched the whole part of it. And then I caught another one that was the third annual ETC Bluegrass Festival mm -hmm. down at the park. Mm -hmm. And again, Jonathan was honest to Pete only looked about that high. That's one of the things I love about ETC. They show some of the greatest old musical videos. Right. right. And such great kids. Yeah. And those kids have grown into such well, phenomenal it's like men. Elizabeth Harper, when I saw that she really was that kid in the white boots here doing the yodeling, and I didn't realize it was her. I was interviewing her like years later, I'm gonna sneeze. And I said, did you yodel on here one day? Yeah, and it was her. And I thought, that is so crazy because it gave people an opportunity to be on television, to sing on television, to offer their wares on television who would not have had that opportunity. Well, it's like that beautiful young lady, Sally Jones, that sings Absolutely. now at Epworth Church. Look how many times Sally sang on here. And she has just grown into, you talk about a beautiful young woman. Yeah, yeah. 
absolutely just gorgeous, tall and, it, and, and willowy. And it started right here, you know, and I'm looking at this. This says ETC 100 years old. They're now like 110 years old. You know, it's crazy. Oh, it's easy. Oh, it's, it's got to be, It's crazy for a company yeah. to be around that long, but, but I think it's around that long because of a community, the communities that we serve, and I think that's so important because we serve some of the greatest communities from Ball Ground to Turtle Town, and when you think about we are really family, you know, it's all about the family. Now, I have to share something while they're queuing up the next thing we're going to do. I have to tell you about my call yesterday from the doctor. <clears throat> going to have to have some surgery share. because the cancer is not taken care of yet. So my hand is going to be But we found out. it early. We found it early. We found it early. Early, early detection. I can't say it enough. I can't say it often enough. My mother had a hole right here in her arm. Mine started with a tiny hole over here. Difference in me and Mama, I picked up the phone and I said, Is I yours have a melanoma? An appointment. No, mine is only squamous, which is really oh, good. Oh, that's even better. That's, that's awesome. even better. Mine that's is even great better. great news, but it is cancer that has to be dealt with. We don't need the to wait. The key is early detection. Don't sit around and wait. Get your checkups. I go twice a year for checkups. I had had a checkup in October. Look at your loved ones, too. Exactly. Well, my, Look at your in loved October, ones. my checkup was good, and in four weeks, this thing grew. Well, you said that's so what fast. scared you about that one, is it, it just so popped fast. and came and up. And I was like, whoa, what is going on here? So be aware, be aware. Um, I'm going to have surgery on a Tuesday. I'm not sure what Tuesday yet. But it's going to be simple surgery. It's going to heal well. They said the hardest thing is going to be because I use my hands so much. It's in an odd spot. I won't be able to talk with my hands like I've always done. Okay. <laughs> we need to put some kind of pool together about how long it is before she is using that hand. It's going well. But that could be good because you use that hand a lot. And it's yeah. not, it's, they're muscles that aren't Well, and this hand has had used. some surgery that went bad. And that worries me. And I explained that to him because all this has nerve damage from a bad surgery years ago. So it's going to be interesting but but they're going to fix it they're going to get, they're gonna get it. it they're going to get gonna it fix it it's going to be done and it's going to be over with early early detection. well you be sure and let us all know so that we can get our prayers going Absolutely. for you get and i will going. Get i will immediately put I you have, on the prayer list at epworth on my head that worries me because the last one they have found my aunt and i both had the same thing we're so funny we had we've had cancers in the same places it's like are you sure you weren't my mama but but this one, they went four inches into her skull when they found one there. Whoa. I ain't got four inches to get whoa. to my brains. <laughs> I'm whoa. like, whoa. I've so got one scary. over here yeah. that I I keep saying every time I wash my hair, I've got to go have that checked. And it's now twice, Early it's now twice the size it was yep. Yep. a few months and ago. Change. So I've got change to make that phone call and, and come up and see them. Well, right now I want to share something with you. This was a fun day. This was a day up in Fannin County. It was the day that I first got my friend Shirley. Singleton to speak about I got our young son. I, I, three of us got in so much <laughs> trouble. That's right. Danny Hensley was in the middle of all that He was in hubbub. the mix with all that junk when y'all were acting like heathens. <laughs> we were having the best old time. You just, I know it. But that's the day I fell in love with James Berger, too, I think. You know, we miss those days. We miss being out there with you. But we're going to share a little bit of that day with you all now today. This is... Um, a precious lady, Joyce Kearns, sent me her peanut butter cookie recipe, and I might say oh they are my. fantastic cookies. So simple, so easy, and, Just and delicious. I was sharing it there on the Just set, delicious. And, and Shirley happened to be talking about Brady, and we're going to share a little bit of that with y'all. First pan of cookies in the oven, and I brought on my sampler. Freddie Brackett joined us. Now, you sampled these the first time I made them. What'd you think? Oh, they were great. I couldn't believe Easy. with what little ingredients is in it how good they turned out. Excellent. They're really good. Now we have decided we we brought Shirley Singleton on. Shirley is um, a mom who used to make cookies with her mm -hmm. young child. This is a simple simple recipe. Hans, let's talk about what you did differently in the second recipe. Did you change the peanut butter? Yeah, we used uh, the the chunky. And I was thinking as we were doing that too, you know, some some crushed pecans or even uh, macadamia nuts or something in there would be really good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used the we used the crunchy. That was the only difference. And then we're going to add some more of your jam and chocolate concoction, but. As we talked about, if, if you did this as sort of a family project, you could add any sort of little toppings mm -hmm. on here. If everybody could do their own little. little I think uh, if variation. Angela were here, we would be adding M and M's. Oh yeah, that's She is idea. an M and M girl. Now, Shirley, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the M and M boy in your life. Okay. A little boy named Brady Singleton lost his life to a drunk driver 
a year and a half ago? Right. Yes. Okay. So a year and a half after losing your child, we're here making cookies. Talk about the memories of making cookies for Brady. Well, actually, this is a recipe that I, I have that my recipe is with Splenda, I guess, uh -huh. but um, I love this recipe, and yes, we have made it yeah. for Brady. Yeah. Well, um, we're going to talk about Brady, and we're going to show you some photos of Brady. He um, was an amazing little boy. His, his grandfather told me one day, he said, you just don't understand how special he was. Right. He lost his life because drunk drivers didn't stop to render aid when they caused an accident. Yes. So what do you want to say to the general public when you are thinking about drinking and driving? What does it mean to you to stop that from happening? Well, it just means everything. Um, I mean, when you, when you know that your child would be here today if this hadn't happened, there was no reason for Brady to die. And, um, you know, I think it takes someone who's really uncaring to not stop and offer aid when mm -hmm. they've caused a wreck. And um, he died after the fact. Yes. He, he actually drowned yes. after le being left in a creek. Right. And, and had no bruises on him? No, no bruises. Yeah. Well, Freddie and I were talking about this today on the way up here. We want to go to his grave site. Can you tell us where he's buried? Yes. Um, the cemetery is Friendship Baptist Church Cemetery, uh -huh. and it's on Highway 294 in North Carolina. Um, it's above Fields of the Woods, if you know where that is. Uh -huh. So, now Hans has is. two young children. Yep. Can you talk about what would happen to your life if, if you went home and said, Amy, look what happened on the way home from work today? I can't even imagine. I mean, my, my parents had to deal with the loss, obviously, of my sister but through cancer. And not that it's any, you know, any different, but with that, at least, it's a slower process and you sort of anticipate and know that it's mm -hmm. happened. In that situation, mm -hmm. I can't imagine just sort mm -hmm. of like a light switch and it's gone. So, mm -hmm. uh, I definitely feel for you. That's, a, that's an amazing thing. But I'm, I'm proud that you're here to help encourage other folks to really be mindful and be responsible, you know, especially mm -hmm. as we approach mm -hmm. the holidays. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's an important message to deliver and it's a tough one to deliver. And I think you're, you're very brave and I'm proud of you for doing mm -hmm. that. Thank you. I, I'm so proud to call her my friend. I'm going to tell you something. We met because of the meal in McKay's mm -hmm. We immediately became the dearest friends, and I would go home and tell Freddie about you. I said, you just got to meet these people. You got to meet these people. You are everything I told them. You are such special, such great Christian people, and we are looking for a child for you no, because you. you are ready for adoption now. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage anybody who knows a possibly a young girl to, to contact you. You know, you're on Facebook. Yes. Now, how do they get in touch with you? Um, well, do you want my phone number? If you want to give your phone number, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm for it. I've given my phone number to 80,000 people. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. It's 423-496-4540. Um, okay. And um, email is singletonrs at msn.com. Okay. And if you'd like to share even a message with Shirley and tell her what it means to see her, she is in recovery. She is recovering from the loss of her young son. Now, can you and Hans finish these cookies and let's get them stuck in the oven? And, and we're going to talk about, um, there are moms out there today who are lucky enough to still have their children. Please think about what you're doing if you're drinking and driving. Now, you know of a young man who was killed in ball ground. No drinking and driving involved, but remember years and years ago on a Friday night, in Bogran, somebody hit a power line and... and so, uh, what you doing? I'm, uh, I'm watching TV. TV? Yeah, well, it's really nice outside. With the binoculars. Yeah, yeah, so I watch TV off the mirror that goes through the window into the binoculars so I could be, like, outside while I watch. Watch a lot of TV? ETC's TV Everywhere lets you watch TV on your phone, tablet, or computer. Visit etcnow.com to find out more. Gilmer Parks and Recreation invites everyone out to River Park on Highway 5 in LJ. Join the 50-plusers every Wednesday at 9 a.m. for a Wednesday Walk in the Park at the Tennis Courts. Free bottled water will be available. Visit our website to find out about our recreational sports programs and rec leagues. You'll also find information on mountain biking and hiking trails, as well as tubing and rafting on the Cartagena River, all on GilmerRecreation.com. Gilmer County, a great place to play. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. 
We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageau is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. We're back. Now, these flowers are just absolutely gorgeous, and thank you to, where'd they come from? Hometown? Hometown, Hometown florist. florist. Thank you so much for getting to me on time this morning. Miss Judy, and you did a beautiful Ed job. Singleton, and they smell, they smell so good. You can smell them over you know, here. sometimes roses don't smell, these smell fantastic, and they are just absolutely beautiful. So thank you so very, very much to Ed. Um, you know, everybody needs a little rose in their life. We all every, have thorns in our life, but we need a rose in our life every Well, now that's a, a really good comment that's you right. just made. Everybody that's needs right. a rose in we their life. We all have thorns. Every once in a while. And I was talking about Valentine's Day is coming up, and um, when you've lost your Valentine, I'm worrying about Vicki because she, the love of her life is gone. James is gone for you. There are days that only that love of your life makes a difference, but I'm going to challenge everybody. If you've lost somebody, if you're single, if you're not doing anything Valentine's Day, pick up the phone and call somebody and spend some fun time with them. Go do something fun. Go pull an Angela and do something absolutely goofy. You we know, could go, I, we could, I could get a group together and we could go through a furniture store and hit all the washing machines. Do you remember <laughs> when we did the live show up at Hillcrest Orchard? Oh, I love that. And Angela was sliding on that thing on the ground. She, she rode every little thing there was out mm -hmm. there on the, on the kids' side of the... Yeah, and Charlene was with a cow. Or and with the donkeys, and, 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 and Angela with the rabbits, on there with, with the animals. rabbits, yeah, and yeah, yeah. oh, and they kept making those hot donuts, and we'd carry them out. Oh but my heavens! Do something that's fun. If you're approaching we had so holiday, much fun in those old shows like that. Well, if we you're really approaching did. a holiday that you're dreading, you're like, it's going to be a sad day for me. Decide that it's not going to be. Celebrate her life. Celebrate. 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 Today we celebrate are celebrating. the fact that you had her you for 40 that this some odd years. Is in the color that we chose today the to teal. do the set in. I think that is hysterical because that is exactly the colors of choice. It most certainly. And that is interesting. So now, um, folks didn't know that when we sit behind that desk over there, we could really come in in our pajamas with a pretty top on and you wouldn't know it. But Jen came in today not prepared to do what we did today. To be prepared to be seen from here up. <laughs> so I've got on old jeans, <laughs> old comfortable it. leather shoes, okay. my socks. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get her back. Don't you know? worry. See my socks down there? Yeah, see so my... So you did the fly by you Oh, you know what? I actually... No, I don't have teal. I started to put teal socks on. That is That's so funny. funny. And I wound up putting blue ones on because I've got on a pair of old jeans. But I'll get her back. Yeah, see my socks on? I can see them there on the... I love it. I love it. I'll get her back. Y'all know me. You know how I am. I expect to be perfect all the it's time. It's been good to be here today. To be This grounded, brings back a lot found. of old memories. Just So much fun. And bring I have back to say, Bill Sinyard's going to be with me one day next week. I can't remember what day he told me. But anyway, he's going to be here. He misses being here. But, you know, he had a real job that he had to do and a commitment. And his, oh, wife, his wife retired and came to work with him. And so they, they've had a, a really 
good run with their business. And he said, I want to come and do the show. And I thought that's really, really cool when he wants to do it. He said, I'm This time everybody. of year, things are slower for him. Sure, and sure. I want so Beulah Land. I want Beulah Land. You <laughs> tell him. You do. There's no I'll, doubt. I'll send him an email. One thing I'm going to get to do is he gave me some CDs that I can give away, and I have a couple of them I'm going to give away that day. But um, there's something about I've his, his sweet comfort. When when we were together at this table and he was my co-host, he was very comforting to me. He was he was there for me when I needed him to be. He was there when things fell apart. He was there when they were fun. He was there for me. And is that rain I hear coming down? I do hear rain on the tin roof. On this what studio, listen that? to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, either that or it's a lot of sleet. It's too. <laughs> <Hush> <laughs> Fortunately, now. we know it's too warm it's to sleep. It's supposed to be 70 degrees tomorrow. That's going to be. Can awesome. you believe that? And yeah. it was two degrees yeah. on my porch the it. other morning. I'm excited about it. Tomorrow. Well, we is just need be... to stay and do the show. We go out. We'll melt you know when we what get this wet. Is? Friday the 13th. Um, Friday my first 13th. husband was yeah. born on Friday the 13th, yeah. and Bob was nothing but good luck. So, yeah, yeah. So there you go, good luck. So see, there's a thing. But well, it it was good luck for my mama, and and I was her pride and joy, and I keep reminding myself of that <laughs> she loved me so much, and I miss her so much. And I said, you know, there are days that I do something, and I think. I wish Mama knew about this. Mama knows about this. You know, Mama's always know. They're up there watching. Mama's always know, and they know when you need something, and they try to be there for you. So if you have a kid that you think you've disappointed, if you have a kid that you're not in touch with, it's time to reconnect. It's time to get connected again and make everything okay because your kids are, your kids are little, but they're always your kids. You know, when they grow up, they're still exactly. your kids. Well, they're I tell my kids. children at 50. Your baby is how at, old now? My baby was born in 1964, so I won't say how old <laughs> she is. And the the, the, the foolish one but was she's born still in 19. Baby. That's right. And the foolish still, one was born in 61. And we might say that foolish one rides around in a big, a little bitty airplane. Big like airplane. A crazy man. Big but, airplane. But, but who wants to be in a plane all the time? He flies everywhere, doesn't he? Do you worry about him? You know what? A long time ago, I put him in God's hands. He doesn't call me and ask my permission to do anything. It's like Michelle. Um, we live close together, but we don't live together. Yeah. And I'll walk outside, and her car is gone, and I'll call her, and she'll say, oh, I had to run an errand. She doesn't tell yeah. me what, what yeah. she may be gone for 10 hours, but she yeah. doesn't tell yeah. me what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah. But you just, they're always your they're baby. Your I heard somebody in a grocery store one day, she's arguing with this man. I mean, this man looked like he was 50 years old. And she finally said, you're my baby. You'll always be my baby. <laughs> Remember, I'm the, mo I'm the mother. And she it. walked off and left him standing there, and he looked at me, and he said, <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I said, you listen to her. She's always going to be your but mom. what about precious moments? Isn't that precious? Completely, that completely, that? completely, yeah. completely. Yeah. And we're lucky that, that we can think back to those times. I, I think about, you think about your mom a lot. I think about my dad. My dad and mm -hmm. I have such a special relationship. And I think about my dad a lot. I think about my mom, but we've been through that route. And, mm -hmm. Um but I think about my dad, and I miss my dad. I would have loved for my dad to, to see me today as the woman I am today, mm -hmm. as different as I am from the woman he knew even when he died, because I was still very much, Bob and I were married. Uh -huh. We were in D.C. when I lost both my parents. But I am so different from that woman today uh -huh. that I sometimes think, how can I be so different from... I've had three or four different light reincarnations of my, you know mm -hmm. lifetimes, right, right. and it's amazing and where God brings us the to, to, to this day. In. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm 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 so country. I'm so happy <laughs> living in my house in McKaysville. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Do you know what time it is? Time just flies when we're having fun, and I have and the rain say, just stopped. We have had fun, and do you love this, Jen? Isn't that gorgeous? That is just beautiful. So precious. Thank you, Ed. Thank Ed, you, you so are much for good, your family. Good man. Good man. What a precious, beautiful. Precious gift. And beautiful. thank you so much. We've got to get out of here. It's time for us to leave you. Where are we going to leave them now? Where rivers, mountains, and good friends Where meet. Where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. Only at ETC. Don't forget, Dave Garner will be here with uh, Trading Time in just a little while, about 5 o'clock. Pick up the phone and call him and sell you goodies and make you a little bit of money. We'll see you again on Monday. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>